Today's question, why do you do YouTube? Somebody asked me the other day, Steve, why are you doing YouTube videos? My short answer to them was, well, they're fun to do, and they are. But there really was more to it than just doing videos to put on YouTube. I thought it would be a great idea to document the hunting fishing trips that I go on with family and friends. And I had been watching YouTube for a lot of years. Um, there happened to be this one channel that I watched because I'm getting close to retirement and thinking about things that I want to do when we retire. One of the things is going down to Florida and doing some fishing down there, of course. And I came across this channel called Living the Keys Life. If you look down on my homepage, it's one of my featured channels. And watching that channel inspired me to start my own. I thought, these are just normal people doing what they do. Um, so I thought, well, why not start your own channel? So I got to tell you, that's a big step for me because if I'm on the other side of that camera, I'm fine. But when I'm on this side, I get as nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. I get tongue-tied, but uh, it's something that I wanted to do. I wanted to share my trips, my the, the things that I do, I guess, with you all out there. I'm small time. I've got, I think, 56 subscribers, and that's fine. I'm not looking to have a mega mass of, of, of uh, subscribers. Um, one guy said on one, of, on one of his videos that, you know, he has monetized his channel and he's got, I don't know, 6,000 followers, subscribers. And he said it pays for his gas money to do these trips. I'm not looking to go that far. I mean, I'm just looking to have fun with this. So I guess that was the, the, the thing was, why am I doing YouTube? Well, it's fun. It's a way to document things that I do with family and friends, um, things that I can maybe share with some of you out there. Um, maybe I can give some information that you find useful. I'm nobody special. I'm just Steve, a building contractor. Um, I enjoy getting out with family and friends, like I said, and, and do some hunting and some fishing. So the first thing that I needed to do was come up with a name. I, you know, I didn't want a catchy name, but I, I used my last name, Ash, in a play on words, Hall and Ash. The reason for that was I had a 69 Chevelle Super Sport, and I used to go to car shows with it, and somebody you know, when they'd see me go by, you know, there goes Hall and Ash. Somebody told me that, and I thought, well, that's kind of cool, Hall and Ash. I had a shirt made up with the Chevelle on it. Well, as years went by and interests change, I sold the Chevelle. Well, I backed that up. My wife said, Steve, if you don't start driving that Chevelle, you need to sell it. You need to do something else. And so I thought about that for a while, once you sell something, you don't get it back. And I had a hard time selling that Chevelle, but eventually I did. And uh, I wanted to buy a boat. I wanted to buy a nice boat. I'd, I'd always had the smaller, you know, fishing boats. I wanted to buy a nice boat. It wasn't my retirement boat, but an almost retirement boat. So I used the money to that I got for the Chevelle and I bought this boat it had to be named Hall and Ash. So that's why I named my channel Hall and Ash. I don't have any fancy equipment. I'm filming with the phone that I use every day. Um, I started looking into what do you need to do to start YouTube and a lot of the people on, on these how-to channels were saying, start out with your, your own phone. Uh, it takes great video. And if you find that you like it, well, you can graduate to something different. Like I'm looking into a, like a GoPro Hero 5. Maybe that'll be the next step. And then there's always this reason that I started a YouTube channel. I tell my sons, 
you know, someday I'm going to be dead and gone from this world and you'll be able to go on my YouTube channel and hear me speak and, you know, you'll, you, you're going to miss your dad's voice. This will be a way that you'll be able to hear it. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that scored any points with them. Um, <laughs> they're the ones that get to pick my old age home. I better be careful what I say around them. So getting back to the subject of why, why do you start a YouTube channel? It's not about the the big fan base. It's not about the subscribers. It's not about the money for me. It's just to go out and have fun. It's a way to have fun with my friends. Um, videos is kind of like you know years ago when you used to have movie projectors and you 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 know you'd you would uh, get your film developed and you know watch it on on the on the screen. Well, they don't do that anymore. This is how you do it these days. You do it on YouTube or you do it on social media. So this is a way that. I can go with my friends and family and, and do these hunting and fishing things and and uh, always be able to see it, or at least as long as I'm around. At least that's what I told my boys. So I'm sure there's other reasons that people do YouTube uh, videos and they have their own channel, but that's my reasons. That's why I decided to do it. I have no no other reason just to have fun. So... With that, I want to I want to thank you for watching my my channel. I really do appreciate it, um, and we'll we'll come up with something. Uh, I'm planning on this trip here to Louisiana soon, and I'd like to do another trip to to Saginaw Bay, or at least Saginaw River, and get some walleye. And then after that, it's going to be on to ice fishing. So, stick with me, folks. Follow along. Uh, hit that subscribe button down there and, and follow along if you'd like to. Again, thank you so much for watching. Take care and may God bless you. In the comments below, tell me why do you do YouTube? <laughs>